Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Rays of Hope, coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's Word. Turn with me to the book of Psalms. Today we'll be in Psalm number 116. I want us to look at verse number 8 for just a moment. Get that cup of coffee. Let's sit together. Have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. My goodness, coffee's hot, really good this morning. Well, if you've got your copy of God's Word, turn with me over to Psalm number 116. Let's look at verse number 8 together. Uh, the Bible says here, For thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. Thou hast delivered my soul from death. You know, uh, if we look back to Psalm 23, about verse number four, the Bible says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Friend, today I want to bring to you a devotion that I've titled The Valley of the Shadow. You know, as a preacher of the gospel, over the years I've spent a lot of time visiting hospitals and going to or conducting funeral services. Now, right now, we are not getting to go to the hospital like we once did because of uh, the COVID infections. But uh, before this terrible pandemic hit, it was just about a daily thing to visit a hospital. I've been with people who... Uh, were dying, and I've been with people who have faced terrible heartache. I've watched those who know the Lord Jesus Christ, and I've been able to see a difference in those who know Christ and those who don't. Friend, I've spent some time in the hospital and in homes with people who in just a few hours would step over to the other side of living. I tell everybody that we live in the land of the dying, but for those who know Christ, they move from the land of the dying to the land of the living. Dr. Billy Graham made the statement, uh, one day you'll read my obituary. Well, that day came. He made the statement, don't believe a word of it. He said, because I will have left this old world and I'll be more alive than I've ever been in heaven. I stood by the bedside of my precious mama as she crossed from this life to the next. Two years ago, I stood by the bedside of my, my wife's precious mama as she crossed from this life to the next. I've uh, watched uh, many cross from life, the land of the, uh, the land of the dying to the land of the living. I've held hands and cried with people. I've prayed with people. I've heard them say, don't worry, preacher, everything's going to be all right because I'm ready. For me to live is Christ, Paul said, and to die is gain. You know, many had the assurance of knowing God, a God who said, I will never, no, never, leave you, nor forsake you. Friend, we've got a pandemic running wild, and uh, over 300,000 souls has left the land of the dying to go to the land where there is no more dying. There's one of two places that we'll spend eternity God has prepared heaven for those who love him. What would it take for you to have that assurance to know that heaven's going to be your home? 
Why should Jesus let you in his heaven? That's a good question. I answer that question in this way. Because, Lord, as a boy of 15 years old, I knelt in front of a television set and gave my heart and my life to you. Friend, do you have that assurance? If you do have that assurance, thank God for it. If you don't have that assurance, give your heart fully to the Lord Jesus Christ today. Just a simple walk of faith, forsaking all, I take him, I trust him, trust him fully today, and he'll come to dwell within your heart and within your life, and you won't ever have to worry about the valley of the shadow of death. For he'll always be with you. In fact, John eleven twenty six says, He that lives and believeth in me, this is Jesus speaking, this is what he said, He that lives and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Friend, I choose to believe. What about you? Let's pray. Father, Thank you for this powerful devotion that reminds us that there is a valley where the shadow of death abides. But, oh God, for the child of God, as the old song says, I won't have to cross Jordan alone because, God, you'll be with us. You said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that I would need not fear evil that thou would be with me. Thank you, Lord, for that promise. Lord, I pray for that one that's not chosen you today, that maybe somehow these words can fall on their ears and their hearts can open and they'll get to know you in a very personal way. And I pray this in the mighty, powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Well, friend, I do pray that you know the Lord Jesus Christ as your own personal Savior. Uh, thank God he's a personal Savior. And uh, when you get to know him, he's your Savior. Uh, make a difference in your world today. Uh, a lot of people are running to and fro. And uh, some are staying sheltered and shut in. I about made up my mind more running to and fro. But if you get out today, be careful. And uh, let others see Christ in you. Your life, your actions, remember actions speak louder than words. Your life can be the only Bible that some will ever read. So let others see Jesus in you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.